Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're gonna be doing my everyday makeup basket and shop my stash for April of 2021. Now, as you can see, um, I, my basket's a mess. <laughs> I got a lot of new products, I got some PR. It's it's just, it's like, honestly, I've just been throwing stuff in, and so it's a hot mess. So we need to go through, do some serious cleaning it out, and then pick some new things. Because also, I feel like I had the products in here, I know, February was a short month, so maybe that's why March felt so long, and so I felt kind of bored with the products I had in here, so I can't wait to swap them all out. Okay, so starting up on on the top, um, I've got the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray, thankfully almost halfway done, because honestly it's not that great, <laughs> save your money. So I brought in this Milani Green Goddess spray to use, you know, with it to hopefully make it a little bit better, so I'm going to leave those two there. Um, over here... I've got some sample products I got in a last Sephora order that I really want to use up. So this, these are some samples of Tower 28, and these are Westman Atelier, so I'm going to try and keep those front and center, so I'll actually use them. Same with the Summer Fridays lip balm. I, I might actually move this to my work desk, because that's where I tend to sit and need lip balm the most, so I'm going to move that over there. Moving down here, I got a bunch of uh, mini lip products. So first, I placed a Sephora order because I really wanted this. This was on sale for $5, and it's two minis from what was formerly known as Kat Von D. It is now, oh, well, it was KVD Vegan Beauty with kindness and vegan and, and kindness, and we also do nice things and we're kind and we're good. Um, now it's called something else that I completely already forgot. Uh, but I wanted these gray lipsticks and they were on sale. So let's, ooh, cute. Oh, they really did package those nicely. Ooh, that looks old. You see the package? Hopefully it just needs a little moving around. Okay, so I really wanted to use those, so I'm gonna put those. I've never actually smelled the scents before. Let's give them a whiff, shall we? Ooh, okay, I actually really like the center scent. That smells really nice. It's like musky and nice. The Saint, honestly, it's kind of just like a generic flowery perfume, not a fan. So let's see, I'm gonna keep the e.l.f. Hot Lip Gloss. Oh, this is another mini that I got in a Sephora order. This is the Rare Beauty Lipsticks. So we're gonna keep those. Let's move out with these bullet lipsticks from Urban Decay, ColourPop, MAC. Honestly, I don't think I need to get any lipsticks because I have plenty in here. So I'm gonna move all those back into my collection. Let's move the eyeliners back a bit. Put the lip gloss over there. Okay, so we've got can they fit in one spot? Yes, they can. Perfect. These are going to go back. Okay. Um, next, I with that order, I placed an order because I realized I had never tried a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick and I kind of wanted to. Um, this is the Pillow Talk Lip Kit. So it came with a little mini... It was honestly way too expensive. It was a little mini lipstick and a mini lip liner. This was $20. That's <laughs> kind of crazy. But I'm going to test it out and see if I actually like the lipstick formula or not. Next, I got this mini from Melt. Again, it was another free add-on to a Sephora order, but I've never tried any liquid. Actually, have I? I think I tried one lipstick from Melt, um, and it's a really pretty, just kind of like deep nude. So, let's see what I put it there. Okay, so let's see, for a liner, I'm gonna move the black liner and this green liner back into my collection along with this black liner. I've got some new liners that I wanna try out from Shop Miss A. Um, they're liquid liners though, so I'm gonna leave this white pencil liner from NYX in there. Um, and then I think we're good here. Let's move into the first drawer. Okay, so we've got a lot going on in here and I kinda wanna swap most of this out. So let's take out the Pat McGrath, the Milani primer. I'm gonna leave in this AOA Studio one. Let's take, uh, actually wait. I really like the camo. So I finally got the camo CC cream in my shade, which is shade uh, 120. So let's leave in the camo. We'll take out the Shop Miss A and the other camo. Take out the Milk Makeup. We will... Let's leave the Shop Miss A concealer and the Dermacol. The Stay Matte Powder is going to stay. I think the Hollywood Follows Filter I'll save in there, and then we'll get another primer. And I'm going to move both of these. Actually, we're going to save also the e.l.f. Well, this is new. Okay, let's take out the Shop Mise. <laughs> I just picked up this e.l.f. Moisturizing Camo Concealer, so I want to keep using that. The Dermacol. There. Okay. That's what we're left with. Alright, time for another messy drawer. <laughs> 
I've got the new Natasha Denona Circle Local Palette I want to keep in here along with my Lila Pan That Palette. I had this Lorac palette. It was a gift from my friend Bougie Brie. I used it and I really do like the formula, um, but I really do want to bring in another face palette. So that's going to move, get moved back into my collection uh, along with this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. Uh, da, da, da. All of this is going to get moved out. So we've got the two Becca highlighters. We've got the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. I'm going to leave my Glamnetic Lashes in here until I do my follow-up video. Um, moving out this earthy blush from Burberry that I hit a lot of pan in. And also moving out this Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. That's it. Oh, so we'll move these back in. There. Alright, this drawer is also a hot mess. <laughs> so... Um, some gifts again from my friend Bougie Brie, these two palettes, I'm going to move that back into my collection. I want to keep the Elf and Chipotle palette because that was pretty new. So let's move the rest of these back into my collection. The Norvina, the Too Faced, the Nightingale, and the Naked Two. So we'll just have the Chipotle in here for now. And then down here, I've actually been keeping my magnified mirror, but also my two loose powders. I've got the Tatcha and the um, Laura Mercier, because unfortunately they're too big to fit in this first drawer. <laughs> so they're just both going to live down there. All right, let me put all of this makeup back where it belongs, and then we'll be back to shop my stash. All right, so over here in my acrylic drawers, let's start up at the top. Uh, these are tape for swatches. These are lip liners, liquid shadows. I just pull when I need them. Same with my nail polish, which don't look at my nails. My nails actually look pretty bad right now. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. liners okay so for liners i actually got some liners from shop miss a my last shop miss a haul if you missed it i'll put it up in the cards and i really want to pull those out along with maybe some pastel ones from nyx actually all right so i'm picking all of these it seems like a lot um i've got two black liners from shop miss a one is a pot liner and then one is a um felt tipped liner brush Full tip liner. <laughs> I've got these two pastel liners from NYX. I think it would look really nice for some looks I have planned. And then also, I kind of forgot I had this. This is a cream gel liner from ColourPop in yellow. So I think I could get some really nice looks out of that. Uh, we have single shadows down here. Um, I've got so many new shadows. I think I'm okay with those for now. Down here, I've got lashes. I still have the lashes from Glamnetic in my drawer. Yeah, I think I'm good for now. I might come in in the middle of the month and pull out some more of the Shop Miss A ones, but we'll see. Over here for lipsticks, I also have a decent amount of lipsticks. I might pull a gloss. Yeah, I've got some from Shop Miss A from that last haul that I did. So let's pull the Oh Honey and, and this glazed gloss. So these are the two glosses I'm going to be pulling in. Down here for red lipsticks, uh, I think I've got just about every shade of lipstick that I would need, especially because I have those gray lipsticks that I really want to try. So I think we're good there. Um, let's go ahead and jump into the Alex drawers. All right, so in drawer number one, we've got some primers and setting sprays. We're good on setting sprays. Let's see, for primer, hmm. Do, do, do. I kind of miss having the putty primer. So let's see, should I do the e.l.f. or the makeup rev? Oh, I've got, I really want to try this e.l.f. putty primer with the new e.l.f. camo CC cream. So let's bring in this primer. And then I think we're good in this drawer. Okay, foundation time. So we've got a lot to pick from here. I really want to pull out an old favorite. So this is the Shop Miss A Satin Foundation. I want to bring that in. And I want to bring in this Tinted Hydrator from Wet n Wild. So other than these two, let's see, what else do I want to pull in? I don't want to pull in any of my individual bronzers because I do want to pull a face palette or two in to use. Let's see, is there anything else? These are all loose powders. I think we're good in here then. Okay, so for this drawer, I think we're gonna... Let's see, let me just pull out some of the Shaw Miss A 
highlighters that I got because I do want to test those out. I, oh, and I also got cream blushes. You know what? So let's pull in these two Shop and Say cream blushes and the highlighter. So I've got this highlighter. I know there were a few more. Let's see, are they here? Nope, these are my... Wait, which one's the new one? Eris. Empress is the new one. So let's pull in Empress. Ooh, almost dropped it. And this highlighter. Okay, and then I gotta keep it light because... Oh, or do I want to do a baked highlighter instead? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna switch out this one because I've already tried this formula and I know that I really like it. Um, and I'm going to swap it out with the baked highlighters because I've never tried the baked highlighters before. There we go. Okay, moving on to face palettes. Okay, so I don't know if I want to pull just one or two, but let's see. Which one? What am I feeling? What do I want to gravitate towards? Hmm. You know what? I haven't used this one in a while, and I do really like it. This is the Sculpt and Glow palette from Profusion. It's a little big, but I love the formula of their shades down here. It reminds me a lot of the Smashbox formula. So let's bring this one in, and it has a bronzer, a contour, and a light shade. So I don't really have to bring in another face palette. I was kind of leaning towards getting another one, but you know what? I kind of like felt like hate panning this one. The natural face palette from Too Faced just because Too Faced is like trash now. Hmm. But honestly, I think this might be too dark for me. But let's figure it out. Let me pull this out and see if I can actually still use it. Because <laughs> if not, I might actually sell this on Poshmark. Okay, so that's everything for the Alex drawers. Let's swivel around to the eyeshadow palettes and please don't judge me. It's, it's honestly, it's going to be a mess. It's, it's a mess. Okay, so we've got the nice cute top part and then when we pan down, oh boy, look, oh, just look, oh, there's, there's, I gotta, I really gotta reorganize these. I actually just purchased a bunch of these little mini baskets. I'm gonna try and start organizing them. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna start organizing them, but I don't have room on this bookshelf for all of them anymore. So something has to get done. <laughs> so it's gonna happen after this video, but for now we're just gonna have to unfortunately deal with the mess. Okay, so these are kind of the rest of the palettes I got as a gift from my friend Bougie Brie. Um, and honestly, I don't know what, like, specifically I'm kind of wanting to reach for this month. <sighs> let's take a minute, let's think. So I've got my Pan That palette. I've got the new Natasha Denona Circle Local. So colorful, vibrant. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So this is one of the palettes Bougie Brie sent me. This is the Melt Cosmetics 27 palette, and it's honestly just really pretty, and I want to try it out. So let's bring in this one. All right, and I said I want to bring in these two palettes. So the first is the Makeup of Murder Crime Scene Trace Evidence palette. It's very bright and colorful. I think it's going to be fun to do some looks with this with the other palettes I already have pulled out. And then, because it's going to be Easter, it's going to be spring, I can't not bring in the Kylie Calm Before the Storm palette. Look at these pastels. They're very pretty. And I think this quad over here is going to be really nice to use with my pan that palette. So that one. And I think we're good for our shutter palette. So hopefully the next time you guys see the shelf, it'll be a lot more organized. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put the makeup back and do a final reveal of my basket for April. All right, so everything's been added to the basket. Everything up here is pretty much the same. We've got our lipstick, all of our liners are over here. Um, we've got our lip glosses, our NYX Control Freak, our Milk uh, Mascara, Chapstick. So I think we're good here. Here's drawer number one. I added the Sculpting Glow because it's just such a big palette and we didn't have too much in the way of like primers and foundations. So we've got the Sculpting Glow, the Flawless Filter, the Camo CC Cream, the AOA Satin Foundation, the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator, our concealers, the Color Corrector, and our um, Poreless Putty Primer, and the Stay Matte Powder from Rimmel. In drawer number two, we have our Pan That Palette and our uh, the Circle Loco Palette, my brow products, the cream, Blush, the cream blushes from Shop Miss A. The highlighters are all back here, the natural face palette, and then our lashes. Down here we have the eyeshadow palette, so we have the Elf and Chipotle, the Melt Cosmetics 27, the Kylie Calm Before the Storm, and the Makeup a Murder Crime Scene Trace Evidence. And then our bottom drawer, nothing changed. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what you're going to be using in April, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.